8 things I wish I knew before I started playing Diablo 4. You might know most of them, but I think this will be helpful information for a lot of new players who did not try the first beta. To leave a dungeon, you don't need to walk back at the entrance or use your teleport to the main city. You can just press tab and click on the entrance on your map to teleport yourself at the beginning of the dungeon. You can right click your map to make a red trail that will also appear on your minimap. This will prevent you from opening your map periodically while walking to an objective. You don't have to be on a waypoint to use it. You can just click any waypoint you want to travel to on your map. You can enable advanced tooltip in your setting in the gameplay tab to see more details on your items such as the roles of every stat including the legendary powers. The healing wells restore 100% of your health but also 100% of your resource bar, even fury for barbarians. When fighting any world boss, directly under the health bar there is a stagger bar that fills when crowd control is dealt. Once full, the world boss will be rendered helpless for 12 seconds. Use this time to deal as much damage as you can. You can buy keys at the Purveyor of Curiosity for 20 Oblon to open the Silent Chest. No matter what difficulty you choose at the start of the game, don't worry, you can go to the statue of Inarius to change it anytime. Just remember it will remove any teleport you have, so be sure to complete your dungeon before you do that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!